One of the undergraduate programs that we're the most proud of at the Jacobs School of Engineering is Teams in Engineering Service, or TIES. What TIES does is partners multidisciplinary teams of undergraduates from throughout UCSD, primarily in engineering though, and um, partners them with a nonprofit in the San Diego community to work on technical solutions that solve the nonprofit's needs. We got started in 2004 with some very generous national seed funding, and we were able to start with two community partners and four projects. St. Paul Senior Homes and Services really had a vision of what technology could do in senior home care. And one of our faculty members, Bill Griswold, really saw what we could do technically on the other side to help out at St. Paul's. The critical problem that the students identified at St. Paul's was a 24-hour log, which was a paper notebook that each of the nurses on each shift wrote into to pass information from shift to shift. Yeah, it's, it's a mess. <laughs> we just throw everything into it and you've got page after page and each shift will go and write on the same person maybe, but then you'll find it three pages later or whatever and so it's a mess. It just goes all over the place so you really got to gather it all. It's really nice what they're doing with the computer. As a result, the, the nurses are able to spend more time actually helping their patients and less time with paperwork. Another project we got started with our seed funding at the beginning was with Lakeside Conservancy, part of the San Diego River Park. And at the point that we got involved with them, they had just bought a tract of land that was basically industrial wasteland that they wanted to clean up. It was right alongside the river. It had several other bodies of water. Using this instrument that the, that the students are putting in the water today are gonna help us figure out what's actually going on in the water over the course of a year at a very real time scale. Probably every 15 minutes we'll get data. So we'll be able to see just how water um, reacts over the course of a year, what kind of problems are occurring, um, what kind of benefits are occurring, if our efforts to clean the water are improving things. Um, so that's really, it's really very critical. And it's one of the first times anybody's ever done something like this. Oh yeah, this, is, this has actually been a really rewarding experience because it's, it's been, uh, it's, it's a lot different from just sitting in the classroom and, and learning about stuff. This is really hands-on and uh, everybody really makes it their own project. Um, you, can, you can take away whatever you want from this and uh, I think a lot of people have put in a lot of effort so I think they've got a lot out of it. Some of our projects came from faculty who were interested in helping in uh, groups in the community. In particular, we started a project with United Cerebral Palsy because one of our faculty was working with them in a senior design project and that became an incubator for an eventual TIES project which is ongoing now. Toys may not seem like they're directly helping the community but if you think about children with cerebral palsy and they're not being able to use toys, it's a big deal to them. And so what our students are doing is helping these children have access to toys and be able to play. Another program that's involved children that we've gotten started is a digital vision screening program. This involves a computer and a digital camera and um, the children are asked to look at the camera and take a picture and the, the computer analyzes the image and can predict if the children need further screening. Okay, Angel, I want you to look right into the camera. Look right here. And you're going to see here comes the big star. Good, that was perfect. So what's unique about this project is that the students have a chance to also improve the system and uh, the prediction mechanisms and so do some research along with the doctors who have developed this. So everyone is concerned with healthcare, and perhaps one of our most challenging projects is one we started this year with three medical student-run clinics in the San Diego community. These clinics were um, set up for the underserved, and they're part of a service learning in, at the UCSD Medical School so that the medical students themselves can learn how to interact with the community. So what's unique about this project is that it puts a team of medical students together with a team of UCSD undergraduates and allows them to come together 
both of them learning about how to perform service in the community in their own unique ways, one with performing medical service and the other with coming up with a technical solution which will enable that medical service. This clinic means the world to me and it's been an incredibly touching place to become a physician, to learn to care for patients and now to have the TIES team students here helping us take this to the next level, it's just so powerful and meaningful and it's going to allow us to do so much more than what we do now. Looking to the future, we'd like to provide more hands-on service learning to UCSD students. And to do that, we're looking for the support that's necessary to make it happen.